What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Caps to side, everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Taurus. Um, this resonates. You have Taurus in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Midhaven, Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Midhaven signs for additional message or messages. Um, if they do apply for you, and this is a free general collective reading. So as always, only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Okay. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. And I have uh, put a new update. I have put uh, personal reading information in the description box below. If you're interested, you have to text me. And then we will set up appoint an appointment time. You do not pay until we agree upon specified appointment time. And when we agree upon it, I will contact you about 15 minutes prior to the appointment time. To make sure everybody's Google Duo is set up before the appointment, just to let her uh, let everybody know. Okay, uh, this is for Sana Taurus. Love you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free. Blah, 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 blah. Please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I appreciate all the love and support. We're at like fourteen thousand two hundred and two subscribers or something like that right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support. Even though it shows 14.1, just saying. Okay, so I received two channel messages for your sign, Taurus, for September 2022. This is reading number two for September 2022 for sign of Taurus. Um, the first one, I heard winning, and I heard it big. So winning. Everybody loves that. Just saying, just saying. Winning. Hell yeah. Just saying, just saying. And um, the second one, I heard can't stop this train. So winning and can't stop this train is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. If that resonates for you, I just heard get one more. Good Lord, I already pulled two. So winning and can't stop this train. So you plug it in, how it resonates for us. So energies can be reversed. So um, you're either, you're winning or somebody you're connected to is winning. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. And can't stop this train. I feel it's metaphorical, like, Going, 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 going. Can't stop you, even though somebody wants to stop you. I feel that is either you or somebody you're connected to. Or both. How that resonates and applies to us. Winning and can't stop this train. So, that's beautiful ass energy. And I just want to say, I feel maybe one of you guys is connected to a Leo in some shape, form, or fashion. Because in Leo's second reading for September 2022, one of their beginning channel messages was can't stop this train as well. So I feel maybe one of you guys is connected to a Leo in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, possibly. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Or maybe you have Leo in your chart. You plug it in how it resonates. Number 45, 42, or 13 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 42, 45, or 13. <clears throat> it could be a possible um, age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Or a significant age of you or somebody you're connected to. Or any other significant number. 13, 42, or 45, you plug the numbers in, how they resonate, if they do resonate for you, Taurus. Spirit messages you have signed for this. I think one of you guys has lots of desire, drive, or motivation, or you're about to get it, or somebody you're connected to does. How that resonates and applies, or both. You plug it in, how it resonates, Taurus. Cobra, swan, for some you could be dealing with a fire sign or air sign. If you are, they could have uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your sun moon. In their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Aries, Jupiter charts, if you are Taurus. Um, you have purity, chaos, patience, cobra, swan. Spirit message, you have a sign, Taurus. Experiments to this you have signed for us.
Um, I'll have to get up and check my Angus beef patties in a second. I'm making some Angus beef patties for my kitty cat, so I might have to get up in a few minutes, just let everybody know. Spirit messages, do you have a sign for us? Bird flying, news is on the way. Man, dealings a relationship with the man. Dark woman, dealings a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. All right, let me go get my patties out real quick. I apologize. We'll be right back. All right, purity. Don't jump up there, striker. They're hot. A Taurus is about to find out the sex of their baby, and a Taurus is about to find out someone's pregnant. Okay, we had a lot of pregnancy in the last Taurus reading, if y'all remember. A lot of pregnancy. Um, so one of you guys, you're about to find out the sex of your baby. So I feel you're obviously a Taurus femme or you have masculine femme parts. But uh, how that resonates, but you're about to find out the sex of your baby. I feel an ultrasound energy. It can be the the new and upgraded 5D ultrasound or just the regular old, old ultrasound. How that resonates, okay? Um, but I feel you're a Taurus femme and you're pregnant. And um, I think you're at least 20 weeks. Is when I, I mean, because that's usually when you find out the sex of your baby. It's been a long time since I've been pregnant, but I remember that. Just saying, saying, unless they changed it. But you're about to find out the sex of your baby. Ultrasound energy, I'm feeling, for one. Um, and for one, you're about to find out someone's pregnant. So you can be masculine or feminine and about to find out somebody is pregnant. So in this aspect, purity is pregnancy here. And a tourist did not know about a COVID in a particular city, but they're about to find it out, and they're about to take great action, great action, soon and quickly. And a COVID, uh, okay, and a tourist did not know about a COVID in a city. Um, there's about to be a lot of evidence you're about to go through, a lot. There's about to be a lot of evidence you're about to go through, a lot. Holy crap. <clears throat> So for one of you Tauruses, you didn't know about a coven in a city. So it's a city-ionized urban area. It's not a town, like a little bitty podunk town, uh, backwoods. It's an actual city, city-ionized, urbanized area. Um, I heard you didn't know about the coven in the city, but I heard you're about to find this out. And apparently there's a lot of evidence to support this coven energy. You're, I heard you're about to, there's about to be a lot of evidence to pour through regarding this coven. So I feel you obviously... I think you have clearance to go through this evidence, or at least I hope you do. So I feel you can work for the police. Maybe you're an officer of the law, or you work for law enforcement, or you are an investigator, or somehow you have credentials and clearance to go through evidence regarding a COVID. It's what I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. So purity in this aspect is innocence of truly not knowing there was a COVID in a city. It could be your city or another city. How that resonates. But in this aspect, I feel purity is innocence of truly not knowing about it, but you're about to find it out and you're about to have a lot of evidence to go through. If that resonates for you, Taurus. Maybe one of you guys, maybe you're sick or you have a cold or you have allergies. My nose just started running just now. I've been totally fine for a couple weeks with the allergies. Now, all of a sudden, my nose just started running. So, I feel one of you guys could be sick, um, like with the runny nose, or you could have allergies or something. You plug it in how it resonates. It just started. 
<clears throat> chaos. There's about to be huge chaos in a Taurus's workspace. Healthcare. Huge chaos. <clears throat> it is about to overwhelm you in a huge way. And for one, you're about to find out somebody sabotaged you. For one, you are the saboteur. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. So, at least two of you guys work in healthcare. Um, if this resonates for you. One, you're the saboteur. And one, you are the one you're about to find out you were sabotaged. In some shape, form, or fashion. You both work in healthcare. You're both Tauruses. You can be masculine or feminine. You can have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid hammer, Jupiter, char Jupiter charts. One, you are the saboteur. Secret saboteur energy, I'm feeling. And one, you have been sabotaged. You're about to find out you have been. Um, and there's about to be huge chaos in you guys' workspace. Maybe you work together, possibly. Uh, there's a reason I'm pulling both of you in, and you both work in healthcare. One, you're secret saboteur, and one, you're, sab you're the one that has been sabotaged. You plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap, Taurus. Chaos in your workspace. Um, if this resonates for you, dear Lord. Huge chaos. Huge. God, that's double confirmation. Huge chaos, huge. Now, you know, healthcare, that's many aspects. That could be anything healthcare related, whatever, wherever you are. If this re only you'll know if this resonates for you, not anybody else. But there's about, there has already been chaos. There's about to be way more. There's already been chaos and there's about to be way more. So if this resonates for you, there's already been chaos in your healthcare place of employment. There's about to be way more. So only you know if that resonates for you, not anybody else. Holy crap. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to get better. It sounds like it's going to get worse. There's people trying to sabotage people up in there and that has sabotaged people in there. There's secret saboteur energy. Um, this doesn't sound like a healthy copacetic place to work. I'll tell you that. I don't care how much it pays. Holy crap. So chaos energy. And an Aquarius is going to try to visit soon. You are going to ignore the hell out of them. It's going to shock the hell out of them. And an Aquarius is going to try to visit soon. And I heard you're going to ignore the hell out of them. It's going to shock the hell out of them. So some kind of Aquarian energy. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, worth them, and Hammer, Jupiter, Shards. It's a fan Aquarius that takes on heavy masculine energy. It's a fan Aquarius that takes on heavy masculine energy. And so that's the person going to try to visit your healthcare place of employment soon, Taurus. Um, if that resonates for you. It's a fem energy, Aquarius, that takes on heavy masculine. I heard they're going to try to visit. I heard you're going to ignore the hell out of them. It's going to shock them. So we have dark woman in here. So maybe this Aquarius, I'm feeling she might have dark complexion or hair. I heard she takes on heavy masculine. So she might have dark hair or dark complexion, possibly. Um, possibly, because we have the dark woman card in here. But you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard you're going to ignore her. Um, and it's going to shock her. Whoever this Aquarius femme that takes on heavy masculine energy is and how she applies, whether she has dark hair or complexion or not. Okay. But heavy chaos energy in your workspace. Oh, my Lord. Let's move on. Patience. <clears throat> and for one, someone was trying to run you around in circles and they did run you around in circles for a while but now you're on a clear path chaos is about to come to them workspace energy investigator okay so if this resonates for you you're an investigator i heard someone was trying intentionally trying to run you around in circles in the past and i heard they did so they were successful and they did run you around in circles for us you're a taurus investigator masculine been taurus investigator um, they they were successful running you around in circles. So like a dog following its tail, like you wasn't getting anywhere. And they took great pleasure out of it. But they're scared now. Know this. Oh, shit. And I heard they took great pleasure in it, but they're scared now. Know this. So they intentionally ran you around in circles, sir or ma'am, investigator. 
and they took great pleasure in doing it. But I heard you're on the clear path now, and um, they're scared. So just know that you're an investigator. Whatever investigator you are and how that applies in your life, I feel that could be police investigator, uh, Fed investigator, state investigator, government investigator, private investigator. I'm not sure. But you are on the clear path now. Only you know if that resonates for you, not anybody else. But whoever the hell was running, intentionally running you around in circles and they took great pleasure out of it, they're scared now because they're, I think they either know you're on the clear path or they're about to find out you're on the clear path now. So I, I heard it's about to cause chaos for them. So just whoever you are, investigator, Taurus, mask, or feminine. Holy shit. And that could be the cobra energy. They betrayed you. They intentionally ran you around in circles. And they took great pleasure out of it. So they fanged your ass. But they took pleasure out of it. That's, that's sick is what that is. Patience. A Taurus has been very loyal. They're very loyal and they have been very patient in a marriage, but it's about to blow all to hell. You know it's been blown all to hell for a while. You're about to get out of it. Be happy about it. Oh, Lord. You plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. So whoever you are, you're legally married in a legally binding con marriage contract. I heard you've been very loyal and very, you're a very loyal person and you've been very patient in your marriage. Um, you're legally married, if that resonates for you. You can be masculine or feminine. But I heard um, it's blown out of hell, and you know it, you know it is. So you're highly intuitive. You've known, probably known for a while the marriage wasn't going to go anywhere, and it was basically suffering. I heard you're about to get out of it, and you're about to be very happy about it. So you've been patient with your partner, um, but you know it's not healthy, basically. Um it could be a contested divorce, a non-contested divorce. I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. You could possibly be married to a fire sign or an air sign. Um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius or an Aries Leo Sag. Only or not. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But how that resonates, you're about to, you have been patient in this marriage, but it's basically not growing and flourishing. And I think it's been chaotic. And um, you're about to be happy to get out of it. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Whoever you are. <clears throat> that could be the news is on the way too. Maybe you're going to go file um, paperwork. Uh, whether it's contested or non-contested. Uh, maybe the news on the way is you delivering the divorce paperwork to your spouse. Or are they delivering it to you? You plug it in how it resonates. Patience. Cops are about to be called to a swinger party soon. Drug paraphernalia. For one, you're about to be the cops about to come to this party. People will be arrested. Holy shit, and that could be the chaos too. Okay, so there's about to be a swinger party in the universe. Um, how this resonates and applies. Heard cops are about to be called to the swinger party. For one, you're a cop about to come to this swinger party. So you're about to be one of the ones about to <clears throat> get called to the call on the swinger party. For one, um, you might be the one calling the cops on the swinger party. For one, you might be one of the ones at the swinger party. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But um, however that resonates, so I'm not, I think somebody at this swinger that's going to attend the swinger party it's about to see, I heard drug paraphernalia. Drug paraphernalia is going to be found. So I think they can send it maybe to the sex party, but not the drugs part. Or they intentionally wanted to find the drug paraphernalia and they did. I'm not sure. I don't go to swinger sex parties. I think they're gross. 
But however that resonates, I heard drug paraphernalia is going to be found. It's going to be found, and I heard somebody is going to call the cops, and in one of these situations, you're going to be one of the cops coming to the uh, swinger party with the drug paraphernalia. I heard many people will be arrested, and it's going to lead to many negative series of chain events for them. Many. They're going to ever regret this swinger party. Okay, I heard it's going to lead to many negative series of chain of events. They're going to ever regret the swinger party. So chaos at the swinger party. And for some, you could have been patiently waiting to find evidence of this uh, drug paraphernalia. I feel maybe one of you guys is going to call. I think one of you guys is going to get invited to the swinger party. And you're going to find the drug paraphernalia. And you've been patiently waiting. is suspecting these people are drug users. And you're about to get the evidence. And you're about to call is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates and um, chaos at the swinger party. I heard many people are going to be arrested. And in one of these situations, you're a tourist officer of the law going to show up at the call. Maybe you're going to make arrests. You plug it in how it resonates. Yikes, man. Woo. Cobra. A sneaky link is about to betray a Taurus in a huge way. For one, it's your sugar daddy. For one, it's your sugar mama. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> so you plug it in, how it resonates. So sugar mama, sugar daddy energy. Um, it's your sugar mama or your sugar daddy, Taurus, if this resonates for you. They're about to betray you. Um, you never thought they would. You thought you had them hooked. Okay, I heard you never thought they would betray you. You thought they had you had them hooked. So you thought you had them hooked, line, and sinker. It's your sugar mama or sugar daddy if this resonates for you, Taurus. So I feel they could either have sexual relations with somebody else or they could betray you with information or some other kind of way. Somehow they're going to betray you. I heard you thought you had them hooked. So hook, line, and sinker. But it is a sneaky link um, situationship. So a sugar mama, sugar daddy situation. So they're paying you for sex, like a prostitute or a gigolo. But the thing is, is those relationships are never healthy. I don't care how much you think you have them hooked. It usually never pans out. And that's just the truth. So they're about to put the fangs in and betray you. However, however, they're about to betray you. I think it's about to cause chaos in your life. But they're definitely paying you for sex. I'll tell you that. If that resonates for you, Taurus, you can be a masculine or femme Taurus. It's a sneaky link situation ship, sugar mama, sugar daddy energy. They are paying you for sex. It can be a fire sign that's your sugar mama or sugar daddy, or an air sign, possibly, or any other sign. They can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Thumb, and Amber, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. I think it's about to cause chaos in your life. And I think you're about to find this out with the news on the way. Swan. A Taurus is about to overcome a lot of obstacles in their life and really blossom like a swan. And a Taurus knows another person that has really overcome a lot of obstacles and they are blossoming like a swan. Well, that's beautiful. One of you guys is about to overcome a lot of obstacles and you're about to blossom like a swan. <clears throat> and for one of you guys, you know somebody that is over currently overcoming obstacles in their life and they are blossoming like a swan. So for one, you are overcoming obstacles or about to overcome obstacles and you're blossoming like a swan. And for one of you guys, you know somebody that is overcoming obstacles in the universe and they're blossoming like a swan so this reminds me of like the ugly duckling turns into the swan they get bullied and harassed and uh as a kid they're like the ugly duckling but when they're adult they turn into the swan like the children's book that's what this reminds me of for one it's you for one it's somebody you know you plug it in how it resonates that's really beautiful energy taurus <clears throat> i think you blossoming like a swan 
And for some, somebody you know blossoming like a swan causes chaos in other people's life because they don't want you or another person to blossom like a swan is what I feel. Uh, and you can be a masculine or feminine blossom like a swan. Just saying, just saying. Bird flying news is on the way. A particular Taurus is about to get a lot of information soon. A lot. And a particular Taurus is about to send very important information to someone. They know others have strategically been holding it back and they're about to send it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. For one of you guys, you're about to get lots of information soon. So you're about to get news on the way for you, if that resonates. And for one of you guys, you know... I heard um, other people have been strategically holding back information from another person, um, and you know this, and you are about to be the power play game changer, power play mover there, and send it to this other person. So for some, I feel for whoever this is for, it might be a fire sign or air sign that they've strategically been holding information back from, but you're about to send it to this person, possibly. Um, it could, They could have Aries Leo side or... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Man, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, possibly. Only you know your story, not anybody else or any other sign. But however that resonates, for one, you're about to get lots of information sent to you. For one, you know other people have strategically been holding back information from another person, and you're about to send this information to this person. So news is on the way, whether you're getting it from other person or people, or you are sending it to another person or people. Um... You could be sending it to a man, if you're the one sending it, to a masculine energy, or you could be sending it to a femme energy with a dark complexion or dark hair, possibly. Only you know your situation or story, not anybody else. Or you could be a masculine energy about to have the news sent to you, information sent to you, or femme with dark complexion or hair about to be sent to you. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. I think it's going to cause chaos for other people because they didn't want this other person to get the information they were strategically holding it back from. Or maybe the some, in some cases they didn't want it sent to you, but you're about to get it anyways. You plug it in how it resonates. A Taurus is, has a very, very, very horrible distaste for a very manipulative feminine Pisces. Horrible distaste. They're about to make it very publicly known. For one, it's in your workplace. Uh, for one, they're not. Okay, so for one of you guys, uh, okay, so at least two of you guys. One of you guys, this very manipulative Pisces is in your workplace. It's a Pisces femme. For one, they're not in your workplace, so any other dynamic, whether it's community, social function, or family, or what have you, what have you, whoever this um, manipulative Pisces femme is, but you don't like her, um, I'll tell you that, whether she's in your workplace, you be masculine or femme, whether she's in your workplace, or whether she is any other aspect of your life, you don't like her, she's very manipulative, I heard, and she's a Pisces feminine, she got Pisces in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, wolf, moon, behavior, Jupiter, charts, I heard you're about to make it very publicly known, you don't like her. So you're about to not, about not to hold back um, whoever you are, um, Taurus. You can be masculine in Taurus. Maybe she has a uh, dark complexion or dark hair, possibly, uh, possibly, or not. Um, but you don't like her, I'll tell you that. Or she's very manipulative, so I, I don't, she's very manipulative, whoever she is. Man, dealing with a relationship with a man.
A lawyer, a masculine lawyer, is about to become very significant in a course of life. One regarding a divorce, one regarding an investigation. A masculine energy is about to become very significant in a course of his life. One of you guys is regarding a investigation into a law firm, it sounds like. And one, it's um, regarding a divorce. And we're picking up divorce energy very strong in here. So I feel for some, this could be your divorce lawyer, this masculine energy. For some, it's you are the investigator, it sounds like. And it sounds like you're in, about to be investigating a masculine um, uh, lawyer or law, law firm or a femme that takes on heavy masculine energy. How that resonates and applies. Uh, one, you're an investigator about to investigate a law firm. One, you are, I think this is your lawyer. Whether it's a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine for a divorce. You plug it in, how it resonates. Dark woman dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. You were really trying to fight back feelings for a particular feminine energy, but it's just not working, and you know this. Fire sign energy. Oh, shit. Ooh, Taurus. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard you were really trying to fight back feelings for a particular feminine energy, but it's just not working. Um, fire sign, fem energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. You're a masculine Taurus. You're a masculine Taurus, if that resonates for you. You're a masculine Taurus. You're really trying hard to fight back feelings for a femme energy, feminine fire sign. So a femme fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. They could have Aries Leo Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hair, Jupiter charts. Whoever this femme fire sign is for you, Taurus, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. I heard you were trying hard to fight back feelings for her, but I heard it's not working. It's not working, and some you do have feelings, uh, whether you want to admit it or not. You do. Well, um, whether you told her or not, you do. For I feel for whoever this is for, I don't think you've told her. Because there's a reason you're trying to fight back the feelings. So I don't think you've just been like, hey, baby, I think you're the bomb.com. I, I, I don't think you've done that. I, I think you've had an internal struggle, chaos inside yourself, because you do have feelings for her. And hell, you've been trying to hold it back, but it's just not working. You still have feelings for her. However, that resonates and applies for us. I feel, I heard it's a feminine fire sign, so she could have Aries Leo Sag and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hair with Jupiter charts. I feel she either has dark complexion or dark hair, because uh, we have the dark woman card here, but you plug it in, how it resonates, Taurus. A Taurus is about to move soon. One they want to, one they do not. A Taurus is about to move soon. For one of you guys, you want to move, and for one, you don't. So you plug it in how it resonates. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. So one of you guys, you want to move. This is residence. Residence is, I'm presuming, and one you don't. One, you maybe it's because of the divorce, upcoming divorce, possibly. Maybe for one, it's not. But um, only you know why you're about to move. Or not. For one, you want to move. For one, you don't. So only you know your situation is story not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. How that resonates? Let me see if I hear anything else. A lot of traveling coming soon for tours. One, it's work related. One, it's pleasure related. A lot of uh, traveling coming soon for a particular tourist. One of you guys, it's work related. One, it's travel related. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. So one, it's for pleasure. One, it's business related okay. <clears throat> let me see if I hear anything else
A Taurus is about to make a very significant report, official report, on an older Libra feminine, 40 and above, with, regarding abuse and exploitation in the past. For one, it's on an older Libra, 40 and above. For one, it's on a Scorpio, masculine. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. So, um, however that resonates and applies, one of you guys, you're about to make a very official report, I heard soon, on an older Libra feminine, 40 and above, regarding abuse and exploitation of the past. And one, it's on a Scorpio masculine. Um, for one of you guys, you could report one of these people. For one, it could be both. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But I think they cause chaos in somebody's life. Um, some kind of abuse and exploitation. It's an older Libra feminine, 40 and above, and a Scorpio masculine. The older Libra, 40 and above, she possibly could have dark complexion or dark hair. And I think this is that Scorpio masculine. You, I heard you're about to make an official report on these people, person or people, um, for abuse and exploitation of the past. They could have abused and exploited you or somebody else. How that resonates and applies. Um, news is on the way. I think you're about to send news in the form of an official report if that resonates for you. And I think it's going to cause chaos in their life, but they shouldn't have abused and exploited either you or somebody you know or care about. How that resonates and applies to us. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.